You are now ready to apply the finish coat. Firstly, put on your safety glasses, gloves and overalls. Clean the brush and roller prior to mixing. Stir the contents of each component. The components must be mixed in the ratio of two volumes of base to one volume of curing agent, so measure out appropriate volumes by decanting them into a separate container. Stir them thoroughly together and then leave for 20 minutes to allow bubbles to disperse. Ensure your brushes and rollers are clean before you start. Make sure you have some thinners number 9 to hand in case the mix needs to be thinned slightly and for cleaning up spills. Tack rag the surface to ensure all traces of dust are removed. Now you're ready to apply the finish coat. Avoid painting the surface in direct sunlight or in the evening, as condensation can cause a loss of gloss overnight. The best time to apply it is in the morning after the dew has left the surface. Avoid painting outside in windy conditions. This will make the solvent evaporate too quickly and blow dust and debris into the wet paint. Start by rolling an even coat in the same way as you applied the undercoat, but choose a smaller section so that the leading edge is still wet when you paint the next section. Lightly tip off the entire surface of the section vertically with the brush. This method works particularly well when two painters work side by side, one with a roller and one tipping off with a brush. Hold the brush at an angle of 45 degrees to the surface as this minimizes brush marks. For areas that are be painted by brush only, application involves three simple steps to get the best possible finish. Step 1. Brush apply in diagonal strokes from the left and right. Step 2. Spread the paint further using horizontal strokes. Step 3. Tip off the surface with light brush strokes vertically down from the top and upwards from the bottom. This results in any brush marks and bubbles flowing out and gives a super smooth glossy finish. Be sure to change or clean the brushes and rollers regularly to get the best possible finish. Only add thinners number 9 to the paint if the ambient temperature is high and the brush feels like it is dragging on the surface. Add a maximum of 10% thinner, no more. When you have finished the first coat, leave it to dry overnight. Consult the product label for the minimum overcoating times as these are temperature dependent. When it is ready to overcoat, remove any imperfections like sags or dirt using 400 grade sandpaper. Then lightly sand the entire surface with the 400 grade paper. Remove all traces of dust using tack rags as before. Apply the second and final coat in exactly the same way as the first. Stir the components thoroughly. Measure out and mix the components. Leave it to stand for 20 minutes. Remove all dust with tack rags immediately before application. Roll and brush apply an even coat and carefully tip off the surface on the way. The application is now complete and there are just a couple of things you need to do to finish with perfection. When the paint has dried to a hard finish, remove the masking tape with care so as not to pull off paint accidentally. Put back the skin fittings and any vinyl lettering. The finished result is absolutely stunning. It looks as though it was painted by a professional applicator. So sit back and watch with admiring glances. Now you can go and spend more time enjoying your boat. Perfection. <laughs>